Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you some communication and language activities that you can conduct with the children in your care. These skills are something that does develop over time through everyday interactions, but it's always a great idea to give them a little boost and have some fun along the way with activities like these. So let's get started. First up, an activity called the memory game. What you'll need for this one is paper plates and a permanent marker. And what you need to do is write down on different plates matching pairs of letters. Then you spread these plates over the table turned over so that the children can't see what's written on them. Then they take it in turns to turn over a plate to see what the letter is. The aim of the game is to find matching pairs of letters and when the children do this they get to keep the plates till the end. This helps with their turn taking, social interaction, attention and listening. Next up we're going to be making a DIY telephone. What you'll need for this one is two plastic cups, a pair of scissors and a ball of string. And what the children need to do is cut a hole in the bottom of the two plastic cups and thread the string through it. This is the basis of the DIY telephone. And then, depending on what you want to do, there are various different games you can play with the children, such as the telephone game, where they have to whisper things through the cups to each other and see if they can pass on the message. This helps with their social interaction, attention and listening, as they need to make sure that they can understand the message that the other child has given them. Number three is I Spy with My Little Eye. For this activity, you won't need any specific items, but we're suggesting 10 different variations of the game that can help children build specific vocabulary around different areas. So the 10 different options are colours, shapes, numbers, letters, words, spelling, rhymes, phonics, adjectives and measurements. We suggest that while you're playing these different versions of I Spy, you encourage the children to ask questions to each other, rather than just guessing one word at a time, as this will help build more discussion around the topic. The next activity is a game called Taboo. And what you'll need for this is taboo cards. You can make your own or download the ones I'm using at the link in the description below. What a taboo card consists of is a word and a picture. So for example, this card says sun and has a small image of a sun. The player who gets this card isn't allowed to say shine or sky, but they need to try and explain to the other children what the card represents. To get the game started, what you need to do is divide up the cards evenly between the children that are going to be playing, and then the children take it in turns to try and describe what's represented on their card, all the while not using the words that are listed underneath. This game's a great way for the children to encourage discussion between each other and also build up on their vocabulary and adjectives. And lastly, Pom Pom Avalanche. For this one, what you'll need is a colander, some skewers, pom poms, and a couple of books. To get this activity set up, what you need to do is fill a colander with some pom poms and then gradually put skewers through to make sure that the pom poms are trapped inside. Once you've done this, you can then turn it over to be upside down and put it on top of two books so it's raised above the table. Then the children can come in and need to take it in turns to try and remove skewers without any of the pom-poms falling to the ground. So this activity helps with children's turn taking, social interaction and attention. And you can also ask the children what colour the pom-poms are as they fall to the ground to help them with their colour recognition and vocabulary. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learnt some new activities that you can try out with the children in your care. Please feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what your favourite activity is or let us know if you'd like to see some different videos coming up in the future. Thanks!